The biggest issue is the social economic effect. There are hundreds of thousands of people are involved in mining and diamond manufacturing. The effect in the economy of Africa goes in billions of dollars. In Botswana alone, they produced in 2014 four billion dollar volume. In the Northwest Territory of Canada, we just started not to produce diamonds. The effect is $400 million. Take a city like Surat. Seven, eight hundred thousand people are polishing diamonds. The whole city is involved. How many jobs will be created for the lab grown diamond industry? Hardly any. So you make a man-made diamond, they sell it for $13,000. Lovely, you made $8,000. But what will happen tomorrow? The guy will come back to you and want to make an upgrade. How much you will give him for this lab-grown diamond? Nothing, nobody wants it. The question itself is nonsense. What do you mean a price list? Lab-grown diamonds are no price list. They print it like paper. You can make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds again. What do you need a price list for? It's every day cheaper and cheaper. If you produce a price list, it appears that you make it legitimate. This is something is not legitimate altogether. They copying the diamond brand and hijacking its value. They try to promote themselves as the real ones, as the natural ones, as the saver of the environment. This is entirely false. It's an artificial product. The world is going for natural products in food, in beverages, in fragrances. Everybody wants a natural, real product. Why you give a diamond as a present? What you want to emphasize with a diamond? That is the beginning of a relationship. That is a big anniversary. This is a special occasion. You want to emphasize something is for everlasting, which is value, which is important to you, and important to the person who you give it to. You want to give something which is eternal, because your relationship to this person shall be eternal also. But how can be a lab grown diamond eternal? It's dust. Man made, you make it in a factory, is something which temporarily, but we want to show something is forever. Diamonds. Real diamonds are forever. The biggest problem, what I see with Debbie's slide box, is the dilution of the diamond brand. A brand is like a high quality red wine. When you add water, the color goes down. And you add more water, the color goes down more. Not just that, the new liquid will be a mixture of real and not real. So when people buy something, an artificial diamond, a man-made diamond, they think if the bear makes it, everybody can make it. This is something legitimate. This is something for real. It reduces the reputation of the bears. It reduces the value of the lower-end goods. It destroys entirely a lower end manufacturer of diamonds because people make it endlessly in China. So why you have to polish it in Surat? The biggest problem, you cannot be a princess and a girl on the street. If you are a diamond miner or a diamond manufacturer, you are a prince or a princess. You cannot do whatever you want. Your brand is valuable. You cannot play around with your valuable brand. You cannot sell something real and something fake. It doesn't go together.